Greg's desire statement. My ideal financial situation. Opening sentence. I am in the process of attracting all that I need to do, know, or have to attract my ideal financial situation. Body. I love knowing that my ideal financial situation allows me to have and enjoy everything that I need and desire to bring more joy and freedom to my life. Abundance is a feeling, and I love the feeling of abundance all around me. I love knowing that all my bills are paid with joy, knowing that what I am billed for is an exchange, using money to honor that exchange. I'm so excited at the thought of a constant flow of money coming to me from known and unknown sources. I love knowing that my ideal financial situation brings me the comfort and the knowledge that I can travel where I want, shop where I want, and have whatever will make me feel great. More and more, I receive gifts, win more prizes, and receive what I need from unknown and known sources. I love the thought of stashing money away into excellent investments. Closing sentence: The law of attraction is unfolding and orchestrating all that needs to happen to bring me my desire. How to create your desire statement. Now it's your turn to create your own desire statement. Use the items on your completed clarity through contrast worksheet to build the body of your desire statement. I have provided you with the opening and closing sentences. All you have to do is fill in the body. Use some or all of the following phrases to help describe your ideal desire. I love knowing that my ideal. I love how it feels when. I've decided. More and more. It excites me. I love the idea of. I'm excited at the thought of. I love seeing myself. How do I know if I'm doing it right? After you've written your desire statement, go back and read it. Next, ask yourself how you feel. Do you hear a little negative voice or have an uncomfortable feeling? Does your desire statement make you feel great? If not, then revise your statement so that you feel better. Raise your vibration when you read it. Remember, the purpose of the desire statement is to raise your vibration to help you include your new desire in your vibrational bubble. Wrapping up step two: Give your desire attention. You have completed the second phase of deliberate attraction: giving your desire attention. Here's what we've covered in this section. Your vibrational bubble contains all of your current vibrations. You must include the vibration of your new desire in your current vibrational bubble. A desire statement helps you include the vibration of your desire in your vibrational bubble. The purpose of step two is to give your desire attention. You raise your vibration when you give your desire attention, energy, and focus. Your affirmations may not feel good when the statements aren't true for you. Law of attraction responds to how you feel about your affirmations. Now that you've completed step one and step two of the law of attraction formula, it's time to apply the third step: allowing. Step three: allow it. It's all about allowing. Now, some of you may be saying, "I've had desires in the past that I got excited about, and they never resulted in anything." Remember, deliberate attraction is a three-step process. You've identified your desire and given it your attention. The third step in the deliberate attraction process is allowing. Let's get started. Allowing is simply the absence of negative vibration, and doubt is a negative vibration. Allowing is the most important step in the deliberate attraction process. One of my clients, Danny, asked me why he did not attract his desires. He had built a great clarity list of his ideal clients and made an awesome desire statement that felt great. So why didn't he attract his desires? The process didn't work for him because it was not enough for him to just identify his desire and really want it. 
he also had to remove any doubt surrounding his belief that he would attract it. This doubt-removing process is called allowing. You may have heard the expression, just allow it. Telling yourself this doesn't help you to allow. If you doubt you can have something, you are sending a negative vibration. This negative vibration is diluting or canceling the positive vibration of your desire. In other words, having strong desire, positive vibe, and having strong doubt, negative vibe, cancel each other out. Therefore, allowing occurs in the absence of doubt. Allowing is the absence of negative vibration, doubt. You know you are allowing something when you hear yourself saying statements such as, Ah, what a relief. You know, maybe I can have this. Now this feels possible. In all three of the above expressions, what you are actually describing is the feeling of the negative vibration being removed. Most people say that allowing is the most difficult step in the law of attraction formula. It's not the most difficult step. It's just the least understood. Most people don't understand how to allow, so they become frustrated when people say, just allow it. In this section, I'll give you how-to tools to help you allow. <laughs>